Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to access your iPhone in Linux. So to start off, you need to plug in your iPhone. So I'm going to do that now. Obviously you can't see that, but I will show you. So if you could hear that over my mic, it says trust this computer. So I'm gonna click trust on my phone, enter my password, and now I will go over here and I will show you it's connected. So if you look here, you can see my iPhone 7 is connected. It doesn't say that there, but that's what it is. And uh, now all I need to do is I need to install the iFuse software. So please check the description because if you look through that, you'll notice we've got an entire write-up on how to get iFuse working. And we also discuss how to get photos and stuff from your phone to Shotwell, which is a great tool that allows you to import stuff directly from your camera on iPhone. But I will show you the software. I already have it installed, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Of course, if you're using a different operating system like uh, Ubuntu or whatever, you're going to have to use a different package manager. But for me, I use Arch, so I will do uh, and when I do that, that will install. And then I can go here and it doesn't show up sometimes, like when I plug it in, sometimes it'll show up here in the devices. If I go over here and I go other locations, sometimes it doesn't show up. So in this case, I'll need to go and do iFuse. Now you see how it says there's no point specified. This, you can't just run the file like that. So instead what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna make an iPhone folder. So now, as I cover in the article, most of the time the iFuse software will do this automatically and you won't need to make an I mount. It'll set everything up in the media directory. But in this case, for some reason, it's not working. So we're going to do it manually. But uh, so I've made an iPhone folder in my home directory. Now all I got to do is do iFuse iPhone. Okay, now as you can see, it'll show you my iPhone right there is mounted. So I can click open. And uh, here's my phone. So I've got my camera with all the stuff on my camera. I've got uh, screenshots and everything. I've got my downloads and stuff that you normally can't see because it uses a special tool to access this. And uh, so that's in essence how you get that. And if I show you the block devices, we can see it's not actually mounted like this because it doesn't count as a block device it's because it's using a fuse file system. But once again, if I go into my home folder, we can see that my phone itself is mounted right here. And we can see the used space and the capacity of the drive, of the phone and everything. So it shows up like a regular drive. So as I was mentioning earlier, we could also use Shotwell. Now, Shotwell comes with GNOME, and I'm pretty sure it comes with Unity and most GTK desktops, but just in case, let's go over how to install it. So this is what you do if you're on Arch, and uh, once again, refer to the article because that will cover what you need to, to do to install it. But once I get Shotwell installed, and this will take a couple seconds. But once I've got Shotwell installed, I can open it, and I can go Shotwell, I can launch it, import folder where I import the entire folder, the entire digital camera directory. Now sometimes when you launch Shotwell it'll show up in the little corner here like when I plug it in and it'll say do you want to import but sometimes you may need to do it this way but once you do that you can click import in place. Now if you've used Mac OS or you've used uh, iTunes with Windows and stuff you know that your iPhone will automatically import pictures. Well this is the same way you can do it on Linux. Now I can do import and uh, all, my fo all my files will import to my pictures folder. As you can see, it's in the importing phase right here. So this is all the stuff that's on my iPhone, just random pictures, not too much, not too little. But it goes through and it's finding everything on my phone. And uh, that's it, guys. And if you want to unmount your iPhone at any time, first what you would need to do is you need to close Shotwell, be stop it from importing, and then you just do you mount iPhone. And I did this without pseudo permissions so that you would understand that yes, you can mount this like we did here 
with user permissions, but you cannot unmount without pseudo permissions. So you can you can mount with with regular user, but you can't unmount with regular user. So you'd need to do with pseudo permission. So that's it for me in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.